In this tutorial, we will learn how to use a skin modifier to easily create any model and fine-tune it. For example, we have created this little creature, just using a skin modifier alone, and a subdivision surface modifier to make it smooth. This is indeed a very useful tool, and we will discuss it in details. Let us first start with a blank new file. Although we can add the skin modifier to any mesh like this, it is not really meant for such solid objects, and it does not work correctly. We need a wireframe of an object, so we need to start from a single vertex, instead of any mesh. So we will merge all its vertices into just one. Let us go to the edit mode. All the vertices are selected by default. So go to the mesh menu, and under merge, select merge at center. As a result, all the vertices of our cube will collapse into a single vertex at the center. But there is a far better and a more direct way to do this. So let us undo this, and go back to the object mode. We will simply delete this cube. Now under the add menu, under mesh, we have an option here to add one single vertex. Just select this option to add a vertex. We got one standalone vertex point, added at the center, and we will now create some structure from this vertex. You can see that we are automatically taken into the edit mode. So let us go to the object mode. And we will move this vertex point, slightly upward, like this. We have to again go back to the edit mode. We will quickly create some kind of an animal body from this, by using the extrude method. So press E on your keyboard and move your mouse. Click on the mouse to add another vertex, and extrude it again like this. We will just build up a skeleton, for whatever animal we want to model. So repeat the same process, and develop a basic structure. While doing this, you don't need to be very perfect. An approximate structure is good enough, since we can always edit it later. So we will come back here, and fine-tune the model again. Just make some body parts and complete the skeleton. Let us also add something for its tail. And, we will add a small part for the face. It may not look very impressive yet, but please wait. Let us go back to the object mode. We will now build some mass around this, using the skin modifier. So go to the modifiers tab, and from the modifiers list, add one, skin modifier. So, you can see that some solid mesh type object is created. This looks like a paper model, not very realistic, but do not worry, we are not yet done. Let us move it up slightly, to place it on the ground plane. And maybe we can move it toward the center. Cool. Now, this looks like a Japanese origami model, at best. We can make it little better, by enabling this smooth shading option. So we get a smooth skin look. But we have a better method, let us turn off this smooth shading. Now, minimize this modifier, and from the modifier list, add one subdivision surface modifier. If we change these levels, you will notice that the animal structure is getting far better, something that you can call more realistic. This is how we can quickly create some basic animal shape, using the skin modifier. Let us rotate it a bit, so that we get the structure perfectly horizontal. Remember, we said that we can fine-tune it later. This is completely customizable. We can modify the skeleton and the body structure anytime we want. We have to do that in the edit mode, where we can move the original vertex points for this structure. But before that, we want to increase the thickness of the model, since this looks very thin. We want it to be little more massive, if not fatty. So press A, to select all the vertices. Then go to the mesh menu, and under transform, select this option called skin resize or you can press the shortcut key Control a then move your mouse and the entire animal structure will get thicker not much maybe this much thickness looks good for this particular model so we got the right profile we can also edit the structure let us select the move tool we have to first select one vertex point then we can move it like this you can give it some kind of a pose, which we can then animate later. I know this is not being very perfect, but you can spend some more time and do it minutely with perfection. Ours is just for the tutorial, I am only showing you how you can edit it. Let us go to the other side and edit the other two legs as well. We are trying to match their pose with that of the other pair. 
Cool. We can also extend its mouth, or face, whatever you call this part. We are done with the editing. Our model is finally ready, so let us go back to the object mode. Another important thing is, you can also add an armature to this, based on the skeleton that we have created. For that, go to this skin modifier and just click on this create armature button. It will create an armature following the object skeleton, and you can see the new armature object in the outliner panel. So now, if you are familiar with armature and the animation through it, you can also add some motion to this animal and make it lively, like this. It is just a basic animation with the armature. The animation can be improved further, this is only show how useful this can be. Our main topic for today is just the skin modifier. If you are not yet familiar with the use of armature and the motion, we will soon come up with a separate tutorial on that. So, we learned about the skin modifier and its use. Please do some hands-on with this modifier and try to build your own animal or your favorite character following the same technique. It can be real fun, and you will discover many new things when you play with this. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.